Alright guys, today we're going to be turning this Dollar Tree picture frame, one dollar picture frame into a work of art. The frame is just a plus, we only need the glass, so I'm going to remove the glass and I'll be back. Alright guys, we've removed the picture frame, just the glass, that's all we need. We're going to take it, lay it down here, and we're going to prep it the same way we prep our canvas, except for one difference. We're only going to put one coat of white and we're going to put one coat of black. So first, we're going to hit it with a coat of Rust-Oleum Rust white gloss. Just a nice heavy coat to cover it, even coat, all the way to the top. To cover the glass, get a quick down, go back down real quick, and that's it. We just painted a piece of glass white. We're gonna let it dry. We're gonna hit it with some black Rust-Oleum gloss paint. And then we're gonna show you how we turn a Dollar Tree picture frame. One buck into a work of art. Y'all stick around. All right, guys. Our first coat of white gloss on our piece of glass from a Dollar Tree picture frame is dry. So now we're gonna come back and we're gonna hit it with a coat of gloss black Rust-Oleum paint nice even coat covering it up very well there we go we got our coat of black up there we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna get to this amazing burn haven't even told you what we're burning yet it's gonna be a little surprise they all stick around all right guys so this is the image that we're going to be doing today on a piece of glass. Um, one year ago, January 26, 2020, we lost Kobe Bryant, Gigi, and seven other people. Um, just so happened, January 26 is my anniversary. It was my seven-year anniversary, which is coming up on my eight-year anniversary. So... Y'all keep the Bryant family in prayers and everyone else family in prayers that was lost on that day, January 26, 2020. All right, so today is going to be a little different. Only reason we're going to be using GIMP is to resize the image. We're not going to be running the big GIMP and plug in. We're just going to be resizing the image in GIMP, which GIMP itself is a free download. You don't have to buy the big gimp in for this or anything. I'm gonna show you how you can use Lightburn, how powerful, how powerful Lightburn is on its own. Um, but we do need to use it for resizing. So we go to image and we go to canvas size, and we're gonna change it from pixel to inches. And right here, since that uh picture frame is an eight by ten, we're gonna put eight here, and then we're gonna put ten here and then we're gonna say resize and there you go it's been resized to be an 8 by 10 so one thing we're gonna go we're gonna go and do is go to file we're gonna go to export as make sure quality is at 100% um, cancel that we're gonna go to our file and we're gonna put export as and here I'm going to change the name to GG <sighs> GG and a Kobe all right we're going to change the location we're going to go to desktop get photos we're going to hit export make sure your quality is at 100 percent we're going to export all right y'all that's all we're going to do to it. We're not going to hit the big gimping or any of that. Now we're going to go and load it into Lightburn and I'm going to show you how to use Lightburn, how powerful Lightburn is on its own. Y'all stick around. It's going to be amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing burn. All right, guys. We got it loaded into Lightburn. We're going to zoom in a little bit. All right, so we're going to change our width. Our width, we're going to be 196. And our height is going to be 250. 
zoom out a little bit. All right, so you can resize it in any program that you like. Just know that if you resize it in GIMP, after you resize it, you need to crop the photo. I didn't show that part, but once I loaded it into Lightburn, had a big old white area around it where I needed to crop the photo, so I went ahead and went back to GIMP and cropped it. Um, this is going to be something different, like I said, to show you how to use Lightburn and, and show you how powerful it is on its own. All right, for our cuts and our layers, we're going to be running the exact same speed that we normally run. And that's going to be 3,000 at 35. Same as canvas. I'm actually going to sit it on top of a canvas. Um, this is for the people. I know I have the adjuster. Um, laser adjuster, I can adjust it up and down, but these are for the people who don't have it. You can sit it on top of a canvas and still get the same results as as you normally did. Your settings, you don't have to readjust your laser. So that's how I'm going to be doing it today. Um, pass through is not going to be selected. We're going to make sure... Me, I have to do a scan angle of 90 because my stepper motors are going out. They're not scheduled to be delivered into Sunday. So we're going to be going 90 image mode is going to be Jarvis and uh, that's our settings 3035 percent you know what I mean 254 DPI 90 same as I normally do with my canvas um, you can do the uh, Otora power test or the sweet spot test on on this glass also and you'll pretty much get the same result as you do when you're doing canvas um, and that's it um, people don't know but if you go to shape properties you can change some things like your uh, brightness, contrast, all that stuff right here. So you can still change that. Only thing we're really going to be doing here different, if you click on the image or you right click it and you go to preview, hit invert, and it'll show you how the image will look. So we inverted it, and that's it. We inverted it to be a negative, so when it burns, it'll be a positive. Y'all stick around. This is going to be an amazing burn. That's all we did. Make sure you got your shade according to power, um, and that's it. Also, if you go up here to your cuts and layers, I know I'm backtracking a little bit. So we got to turn negative image on. That's what we got to do. Now we got to go back to preview. There we go. Invert. Make sure you turn the negative image on. And that's how it's going to look. That's going to be our burn. So negative image in your cuts and layers and the invert button here. Y'all stick around. It's going to be amazing burn as soon as it's dry. All right, guys. Our piece of glass is dry. Um, we want to just take a moment of silence for the people that lost their lives almost a year ago. Um, January 26, 2020. Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and seven other people. So keep their family in prayer coming up on the one year anniversary of their loss. Um, tell your family you love them. You never know when they could be the last time. Um, and I love y'all. Thank y'all. I'm almost close to 1,000 subscribers. I really appreciate y'all. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and hit shift and frame. Make sure we're lined up and we're looking good. See how I got it sitting on top of an old canvas so you really don't have to change much with the settings or adjusting your laser. You just keep it the same. Even though I have the Z adjuster, I just still just put it on top of a canvas. It makes it a little more easy. So we're going to go ahead and start that thing. Y'all stick around to the end. It's going to be an amazing burn.